So in the example I gave of the COPD trial in this phase two, let's say you're testing the two milligrams, the four milligrams, and the six milligrams of the investigational product. That's three different arms. But then you also have the standard treatment for COPD, which is already approved and on the market. And then another arm would be placebo. So you would have five arms on this study that's double blind, meaning the patient doesn't know what they're getting, nor the researchers know what they're getting. The only people that know what they're getting are the sponsors if they, because they have the blind code, so they know what everyone has been assigned to. So these studies, if you're a site, are more complicated to do just because there are so many arms. And then there's usually stipulations, like if a patient at week six or week 12, the way some of these trials are designed, if they were on placebo, they're going to be switched to standard of treatment. And if they were on standard of treatment, they might be switched to placebo. There's different ways to test for these things to see whether the IP actually impacts the therapeutic effect and the safety. So these are they're the most interesting kind of trials to design, I think are in the phase two. I'm not an expert in trial design, but there's a lot of flexibility in the phase two studies because your dose, you're finding the right dose, you're optimizing the right dose, sometimes in real time, and then you're looking at efficacy. Does it actually work? And of course, safety always. Now, for rare diseases, sometimes they use historical data instead of randomized comparators. So you may have rare disease where there's only 10 patients in the whole study. And instead of using comparators, you look back on those same patients, do retrospective chart analysis, and then look at the comparison between the study drug. Now there's two types of phase two studies. There's 2A and 2B, and I've kind of explained both of them together. But 2A explores the efficacy and early signals. And phase 2B refines the optimal dosage. 